All right, guys, I wanted to go ahead and make a video here for you. And normally I wouldn't do videos like this. I try to steer clear of these kind of videos. But since this guy is a so-called trainer uh, in Ohio, and I'll get into reading you the messages here in a minute. I got him on my phone. But since this guy is a so-called trainer, I feel that I need to put this message out there about people that spread false information, especially when they talk and speak like they have some authority uh, using their training certificate as authority. First of all, let me tell you that uh, those training certificates are everything but on the back of a cereal box here. You pay about $100 more than what you would pay for a CCW class to get a training certificate, and these guys take all that money and then they, they make you buy about $250 worth of books. They make you buy an easel to teach people and all this stuff. And these guys, I mean, that's fine that they do that, but they're just making money and they'll give you your training certificate when you go through this little course. It's about a, a day longer than the CCW course and anybody can get it. So this guy rolls into my uh, truck carry for lawless times video and I'm going to read to you the comment that he said. He says that he's that I've committed two felonies on video. One is pertaining to another video, and we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Well, first of all, just so you guys know, this is my PSA uh, AR-15 uh, pistol with the CAC shockwave brace. And most of you guys that know me know about this. Second of all, this guy that just rolled into this video and made a comment, he has no idea who I am or anything like that. He knows nothing about me. And see, that's, that's the problem when guys speak before they know anything. And I can tell this guy's a total Jeremy DeWitt. If you want to know who that is, look him up on here. Uh, and I can tell this guy is uh, one of those know-it-all types that thinks he's right about everything. Just for reference, I'll go ahead and insert a picture of this guy so you can just see what he looks like. Uh, after he told me he was going to turn me into the ATF for this other violation that he says I committed on video from another video, we'll talk about that in a minute, I told him that I was going to be looking into him and checking him out because after the messages he sent me and the tirade he went on, I don't feel he's competent to even own a firearm possibly. But anyway, I found out everything I needed to know about this guy. Uh, what he is is he's a guy that just leeches on to other people. He has no training academy. He has no building to conduct training in at all. What he does is he leeches onto other people that have a facility and he tries to uh, go into classes when they have more people than what they can handle and is the quote uh, second trainer and makes a little bit of money from it. What these guys do that have a training facility or a gun shop, they pack in as many people as they can to train and charge them 65 to $90 a person and once they get to the level of so many people, they'll let a warm body, like this Dan Bowers guy, come in there. He'll pay him 50 bucks, and because he does that, the gun trainer will actually be able to have about 15 to 20 more people paying 65 to $95 or so. So that's what this guy does, this so-called trainer. He's just basically a warm body to go in when there's an overflow of people that's paying these trainers a nice amount of money. They'll throw him 50 bucks and say, go ahead and come in and we'll use you for this class on Saturday. Meanwhile, the guy that owns a facility or the guy that owns the gun store where the training's being performed, he's raking in almost 100% of the 50 people that's there paying 65 to 95 or so dollars a piece. Uh, this guy's just a fly by night. He has no training academy, no, no facility at all to do any kind of training in. And let's go back and let's go ahead and read the messages uh, that he sent me from my uh, truck carry video where I showed this AR-15 pistol. So this is the first comment that he posted over on that video. Just be aware that carrying a loaded rifle, and it says rifle in capital letters, and then in parentheses it says, and in many states, this AR pistol is considered a rifle, is a felony. So there he's trying to say I'm committing a felony. And Ohio, in capital letters, is one of those states that considers this a rifle. So before you start taking advice from some YouTube wannabe warrior, be sure of your laws 
pertaining to carrying loaded weapons in a vehicle because the laws vary greatly, said in capital letters, state by state. So common sense right off the bat would tell you that there's no possible way that Ohio would consider this a rifle. And if they would, it would flat out be illegal to own. And if they did consider this a rifle, that means that a guy could put a foregrip on it, uh, you could put a, a collapsible stock on it, and then you would still be legal. Because if Ohio considers this a rifle, well then why couldn't you just do anything to which you wanted if they already consider it a rifle? Uh, this is 100% legal in Ohio. Uh, the pistol braces are 100% legal in Ohio. I think I know a little bit <laughs> about what I'm doing here. So I message back to him, you are full of BS. You have no idea what you are talking about. Uh, I just couldn't, you know, at first I just thought this was some guy that rolled in off the internet. Uh, I just was like, you know, I'll just let him know that he has no idea what he's talking about and I'll move on. Well, then I got this message back from him. I already know a guy is full of it when he starts off a conversation like this. And here's what the comment says, at Defender of Freedom. So where is your certificate to instruct CCW classes here in the state of Ohio? Didn't think so. Legally in the state of Ohio, that's a loaded long gun and is not recognized as a pistol for CCW. Sorry if your butt hurt about it. I don't make the laws. I just struck them. <laughs> that's what he put. Now, if you are not an Ohio resident, which I think you are, then this so-called AR pistol long gun, he said pistol long gun law may differ. For your information, it's also not in Pennsylvania where I'm also a firearms instructor that can provide training for a residential Pennsylvania pistol permit and Michigan also recognizes my certifications. Enjoy big boy. By the way, perhaps you should spend less time making videos and more time researching the laws. Okay, so right right here, guys. Anybody that starts off of this is what I have or this is what I do, anybody that's anything real, I've never heard them start a conversation like that before. Um, anybody that's the real deal at anything, whether it's military, fighting, or anything, anytime I hear a guy come up to somebody uh, that he's angry at and the first thing he says is, uh, I was in the Marines, right off the bat, I count you off. Right off the bat. Unless there's a reason for you to be saying that you were in the Marines if you're trying to help someone or something. But if you just come up to somebody and you start bragging right off the bat, I know that you're full of it and you got nothing to back you up. So you're trying to make the person already scared uh, by saying something before this confrontation goes any further. You're trying to stop it with your words. And I, and I, and I know you've got no heart and you've got no fight. Just like this guy here talking about Ohio training certificate. Guys, I'm telling you, you pay an extra hundred dollars from what the cost course to get your CCW in Ohio, and you can become one of these one of these trainers. Doesn't matter who you are or what you are. They'll take your money. They'll they'll take you through the course. They'll sell you the books and the easel, and they will gladly take that money and give you that certificate. Anybody can do it. And this is just a guy that tries to latch on and leech on to other people to help out in in courses. So this is my comment back to him. Yeah, you're a real genius. A know-it-all attitude. I don't give a crap about your training certificate. Anyone can easily get that. Send me the ORC, which means Ohio Revised Code, that states that my pistol is considered a rifle in Ohio or considered a long gun and send that over to me. And if you can't do it, big boy, just like he called me, I said, then keep your pie hole closed. Okay, so... This is where it turned into something else after this. So basically, after I sent him that, and I basically told him to either send me the ORC, Ohio Revised Code, which it's so easy to look up and find if something's illegal, and to send that to me. So the next reply was, well, I seen that you committed another felony in a video with a, Glock, with a modified Glock that shoots full auto. What this genius is talking about is a real Glock 18C that I clearly show on video up close that it's a real G18C that he calls a modified Glock. 
he said that that was another felony I was committing by carrying that gun in the video, and that he knew an ATF agent that would be very interested in that information. Okay, Danny boy, <laughs> whatever you say, buddy, go for it. So I basically said, hey, moron, that modified Glock is a real G18C, as you can see in the video, and go ahead and contact the BATFE, and let's see how far that gets you. You don't know anything about me. And then I sent the message. The reason I'm doing this whole video is to watch who you uh, get instruction from, and when you do hear something from somebody, if it's questionable, ask someone knowledgeable. And I'm not saying me, I don't know everything, but what I'm saying is to you, if you're newer to guns or or anything like that, or you got a guy that thinks he knows everything, or even one of these so-called firearms trainers, uh, don't just take their word for something if it seems questionable, okay? Always do your research first, guys. Look it up, look up the laws in your state, and know what you're doing. This guy has no clue, and what's so sad is this guy has a training certificate that allows him to train in three states, and he's spreading false information. So who knows what else he's telling people that's wrong? <laughs> This guy won't calm down. Agar, stop. Agar. Does that taste good? <laughs> Man, his teeth are like steel spikes. Get back there, buddy. So that's my point of this video. If this would have just been some random guy that I had no idea who it was, it could be a kid, it could be anybody that had said this, I never would have made this video. But since I did look into this guy, he does have a training certificate, and he does occasionally do some training on the side or some supposed training on the side i just wanted to make this video because I, I feel that it's necessary for people to know to make sure even if somebody tells you if you have a good question in your training class uh, double check that question after the training class or look up your laws online because we the last thing we need is more disinformation being spread around i mean if you were to tell somebody that this is considered if i was to tell new gun owners that this was considered a rifle in Ohio, and that guy went out and put a stock on this, a retractable Magpul stock, and then got stopped, and then got charged with a felony, and the ATF came down on him. Can you imagine how that guy would feel after I gave him false information, and he thought, well, if Paul told me in my training class that this is considered a rifle in Ohio, but it's legal for me to have, well, then I can just put a retractable stock on it and a, and a vertical foregrip up here because Ohio looks at this as a rifle. So I don't need a tax stamp for that stock. Do your research, guys. Uh, sorry about this rant. I try not to do these videos, but when somebody's spreading false information, you better believe I'm gonna be out there and I'm gonna be setting the record straight. Oh, and one more thing, uh, Dan Bowers. Oh, and Mr. Super Trainer, Dan Bowers. If you wanna see a video where I broke the law, Look up my video, drive-by shooting with a Desert Eagle caught on video. So in that video, I shoot a Desert Eagle 50 cal one-handed out of the driver's side door of an SUV while I'm driving it. It's called drive-by shooting with a Desert Eagle caught on video. And the ORC is 2923.16. That's the law that I broke, shooting from a motor vehicle. Go ahead and turn me in for that one, and let's see how much traction you get, if you can get any of these to stick on me. <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time, setting the record straight, always keeping you guys informed, keeping you away from the disinformation any time I can. All right, guys. Until next time, this is DOF and Agar, and we are... <laughs>